What's up everyone, my name is Almighty and this is Star Citizen. I want to welcome you guys to our channel, Digital Core Gaming. This is the third time I'm actually recording this video. Uh, <laughs> uh, the first time I actually recorded something and realized that I had the wrong, I have like multiple mics connected up to my computer, different ones, like I have a Yeti, and I have my headset one, and I have one for my camera, and realized that it was connected to the wrong one, so that one, I think it was like 30 minutes, just completely out the door. And then I did another one where it just didn't sound right, and I don't know. I think I was just trying to be too formal or something, and after watching, I'm just kind of like, that's not really me, so... I'm going to do me on this one. Uh, this is my very first, I would say, intro video to uh, this particular game. Uh, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a very uh, big game. It's supposed to be a very big game. Uh, and uh, one of the big things that I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to push myself and, uh, you know, really, really try to make videos consistently. Uh, doing like a series on this on this game alone um, where I basically just play Star Citizen. Um, I'm going to try to upload at least one video weekly for now and if things improve over time, you know, hopefully that'll that'll happen and maybe I can do more videos. Um, but yeah, so uh, so like I said, this is Star Citizen. Uh, it's a game that I found uh, not that long ago. I've only been playing since February 2017. It's currently July of 2017. So um, I, ca I can't remember how I found it, but um, you know, it was uh, it was something that I was looking for. You know, I I play a lot of uh, first-person shooter games, and decided, you know what, I I like flying. You know, like in Battlefield 4, I was the guy that kind of flew. The helicopter. I pick pick up the troops, take them to the to drop point, fly away before I get shot down. Right? Um, you know, the Huey in there. Um, you didn't really have any weapons to kind of defend yourself. You had to like, you know, fly low and in between the trees and buildings and stuff like that. And I got you know such a rush out of playing that because there were so many close calls and I wanted to kind of emulate that because you know Battlefield One came out and. Um, you know that really doesn't have the same type of thing with the with the helicopter. You know, you know, uh, World War One. I, I don't even think helicopters were invented yet. So, you know, I was missing something, and so I was like, oh, I gotta find something. Um, I have my PC, and you know, it's it's not the best PC in the world, but it's a pretty good PC, and so I'm I'm kind of moving between console and PC games and thought, well, I might as well look on PC for a game, and I found this game. Was very intrigued at first. Um, you know, watched a lot of videos on YouTube about it. Uh, you know, Board Gamer, um, SLT, Youngblood um, are some of the videos that I've seen. You know, those are like the main guys that kind of post as far as I have seen when it comes to Star Citizen. Um, and then Dan Geesling as well, which is uh, pretty cool. He he does very entertaining videos, I think, um, on just having fun, you know, not being too serious um, with this game, because a lot of people will take this game very seriously, and it is a serious game. There's going to be lots to this game, but um, he just has a really good time. It is an alpha, um, if you don't know already. You know, there's, there's a lot of bugs and glitches, and you run into those all the time, but, um, you know... It's just part of the process, you know, with these alpha games that come out. It seems like a lot of games today come out in alpha. Now, some of them are really, really good. Like Ark. Ark was a really good game. Came out, you know. Uh, that one had a lot of glitches at the beginning. I remember that. But um, there's other games like uh, Players Unknown Battlegrounds. Everyone's kind of taken off on that right now. And that, that game, you know, has some glitches but not really noticeable. This game, though, is, is going for, like the super high-end um, graphics, you know, they want to be, 
you know, not only a, a space flight sim, but they want the FPS part of it, and then and then at the same time they want the MMO part of it too. So it's a very ambitious game. Um, you know, nothing like it out there really. Uh, there's some games that come close, I, I would say, you know, um, but nothing quite like this one. And um, yeah, let just like I said, graphically it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I, I would say you definitely gonna have a decent uh, PC to run it. Uh, if you're rocking a, a potato PC, that's that's not gonna work very well in this game. But you know, too, it's it's still an alpha, so it, it's not really optimized for anything. Um, now the current version that I'm playing is uh, version 2.6.3. Uh, and there's supposed to be a big update to 3.0. Uh, it was actually supposed to happen. Uh, we're at the very beginning of July. Actually, today's July 4th. And uh, that didn't happen. It got delayed by a month. So we're expecting that uh, within the next month or so. And um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Whenever you start out, you kind of start out here. And uh, you get very used to that. Everyone starts out in one of these rooms here. And you end up in Alasar. Alasar the main port uh, for the good guys. There's a, there's one for the bad guys. It's called Grim Hex. Uh, I'll probably show you guys that later. Uh, and so yeah, you come down these stairs here. I don't think there's, there's nothing. Yeah, it's just just these two two like decks here. Uh, you come down here, and this is kind of like the main center. Really quick and easy. Uh, you come up here, and you can call your ship. Oh, potato server potato server. You, you meet interesting people. You can come up to them and... Salute them. He's AFK. He probably doesn't care. Uh, and there's little shops here. Uh, this one's not a working one. They're still building it. This is for, like, clothes you can wear inside Port Alasar, but it really doesn't really doesn't Welcome do anything. I don't really mess with that. Uh, the main ones are the ones back here. Um, we have the weapon, light fire weapon. It's very cool. Come in here, buy some guns. You can buy some med pens. And the server's kind of fun. Okay. And um, we have this here where you can buy different space suits. So that's, that's a thing. And uh, so yeah. Oh no, I think I may be crashing. Let's see here. And that's one thing, like I was saying, it's it it uh, it'll lag sometimes, you know, servers get loaded up and you'll run into that and the game will crash on you, you might glitch through walls, you might be flying your ship and just get sucked out uh, of your ship and so yeah. Um, as you can see the detail and everything the frost or the cold from going from an environment with air to, you know, space, stuff like that. Um, I probably should have called out my ship, but uh, I'll go ahead and do that later. Anyway, this is the outside. We have the outside here. And Alasar is pretty big, man. Now, as far as like exploring the space station goes, you kind of have just these like little buildings here. Um, you don't really uh, like like there's no way to like go down here and into there yet. I don't know if that's something they're they're working on. I'm sure they are. I mean they're doing lots of stuff. You can float out here. Oh yes, look at this. You see other people's ships. That's probably why we're lagging. This guy. This is one of the. Feel like the big container ships here. Oh, and just to kind of show you graphic graphically, it's just uh, it's a really really good ship. Whoa, look at my neck; it's all stretched to the side. Like you could see there, like the reflection. I mean, let's turn his head. Okay, there we go lighting, I mean, just everything. I mean, little details. That's what this game is all about. Just fine, fine details. So, yeah. Um, see a lot of that, and then get 
massive ships like this. Well, this one's not mine, of course. I don't know what they're doing with it, but uh, this is supposed to be like, I don't know, I think it's like a few, like, like you can like mine fuel or something, and that's what goes into these drums here. And uh, I'm just going to board this ship, because, you know, why not, right? YOLO. You're not getting the button. ship. Now if you get too close to the ground, you'll get sucked down by gravity. So we're going to take the back door here. Oh, look at this guy over here saluting the ship. <laughs> respect. He's paying the respects. Platform right here. No! Ouch. That was not I don't think I was going in there fast enough. Okay, let's see. You drop. That just kind of happens. I think I knocked the whole entire ship back. I don't know what happened there. Oh, something happened. Look at that. It's now floating. I'm determined though. We're gonna try that again. This time we're gonna take more of a we're gonna try to shoot into that little crevice there. Or maybe we should go for the top. Look at this. What should we do? Think. We should just try. Landed. We landed. Please don't fall off. Okay, made it. All right. First episode: stealing the biggest ship in the game. Currently, currently, there are some big ones. There's like massive ships planned for this game, like um, ones that'll like dwarf this ship. Um, how they're gonna do it, I have no idea. But you know what? There's been a lot of evolution when it comes to graphics cards lately. Oh, don't, don't get me caught in. Oh, 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 yes, here we go. Yes. Now, this, this is another part of the game. So, because it's an alpha, there's really no consequences, right? You can come in here and troll if you want. You can come steal a ship if you want. So, why not steal a ship? I don't know, I guess. If it lets me. Sometimes they kind of get glitched into the system here, and you can, oh, 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 there we go, there we go, we'll have to do that, oh, wow, look at this beast, bring those landing gear up, oh, man, if that is not a shot to admire, Let's uh, slow her down just a little bit here. We'll uh, go ahead and turn her. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's turn this way. Now, because she's she's got a fat ass, she's going to uh, turn slowly. Ah, uh, there we go. But that's supposed to be the realistic part of it. Oh, look at that. Right next to Al. It's cool looking. It's got the blinking lights, just the chrome body. Up on top there, you have the, oh, 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 three frames, no. No, okay, here we go. The turrets there, are these big, big engines. And inside of this thing is like a, like a base, man, it's just, just massive. Oh, look. You, can, you, you even have a window. Do you see that window there? And you can see inside the ship. Just just something like that. I mean, it's just everything's to scale. 
it's where it's supposed to be. I mean, that's cool, right? Got these big guns on the front. Oh, it's a beautiful ship. Just beautiful. So, let's uh, let's have some fun with her. sideways for a little bit. Alright. We're at 100 percent as far as uh, cruising speed goes. We are at 100 percent. Now hopefully I don't crash into anything. I'm just going to try to do a quick flyover. Woo! Caution! Front collision! Caution! Starboard collision! Very close. All right, let's boost out of here. Let's boost. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right, let's bring up some destinations here. Quantum travel engaged. We're going to go travel somewhere. Now, what will happen here? Very interesting. I did not expect this to happen. I was going to be like, oh, hey, I'm going to tell you guys all about Star Citizen. But this is this is what happens. You kind of get... Someone just left the ship there. Now, just so you know, <clears throat> if someone steals your ship, Quantum it's not a big deal. Engaged. You can just respawn, respawn a new one. Uh, you don't have to pay anything extra. There's nothing with insurance you have to worry about. Uh, as of right now, it's just... Uh, you just spawn in a new one. We got some, some peoples. Let's see what Timberwolf is doing. He's in a hornet. Except I and Korea. I've noticed that uh, they changed something to where if you steal someone's ship, that happens a lot more often. <laughs> and so, so this is this is Star Citizen, Star Citizen guy. He's probably wondering where the heck that ship went. Uh, shit, did he DC? Uh, maybe, maybe. No idea. Just disappeared. Oh boy. This is. Uh, Security post Korea. This is where all the action happens. This is like a space station that allows you to um, actually pick up weapons and all kinds of stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Um, like I said, you know, I'm just going to take things uh, video by video. Uh, I am going to be, like I said, doing videos on a weekly basis. Uh, so, you'll see me upload and do weird stuff like this in the game it makes uh, for very interesting videos and uh, if you like what you see here definitely subscribe uh, you can also you know message us on Twitter We're on Twitter all that information is in the uh, description below and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next video